All right, what's going on, guys? We're still here on the quest to find some cool gooby species. Uh, in the last video, all we got were uh, frill fin goobies, which are probably the most common gooby species here in South Florida. Uh, so today we are, this isn't, I don't think, a tributary of the Loxahatchee River. It's kind of like a little offshoot of the Loxahatchee. So this is the brackish section, though. However, I know I'm kind of rambling here a little bit already, uh, but four days ago, uh, Hurricane, is it Ian, I think it was, kind of hit the Gulf Coast and then moved across the state of Florida. Uh, didn't directly go over this area, but we still got a lot of the outer rain, rain bands. So a lot of water fell here. So even though this is brackish, the water here is really, really high right now. And I'm sure there's more fresh water here than there normally is. So I don't know how that's going to kind of affect the fishing. Just kind of looking around. It, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll throw a little bit of shrimp out there. Hopefully we get some cool goby species, which is the main target. Um, but if not, just any sort of fish out of here would kind of make my day. Maybe we'll get some new ones for the life list. So let's give it a shot and let's see what happens here. All right, so here is the little river. There's there's plenty of water here, but I think like these trees kind of out here in front are probably normally on dry land, and right now they are submerged because there's just so much water here uh, from the hurricane, and also it is high tide right now as well, so that doesn't help. But let's just put this here in the water close to shore. See if there's some fish down there that we can get. If not, we'll move around here a little bit and hopefully we can find them. Got him. What is this? All right, so this is not, not the species I was going after, but I will take it. This is a new species for the life list. I think technically it is a goby. Uh, I believe this is a fat sleeper, if I'm not mistaken. If not, it's definitely some sort of a sleeper. At least I'm pretty sure. Um, I saw these guys down there. They just weren't completely on the bottom. They were kind of suspended in the water column. So I wasn't sure what they were. I was worried it was going to be something that I have caught before. But it is not. It is a new species for my life list because I have never caught these before. I believe it's a fat sleeper. There's a couple different sleeper species. And I believe they are all in the goby family. So I'm not completely positive on this guy, at least not yet. But I know I have never caught it before. So, quick pick. We'll get an ID on it for sure when I get home. But I am already happy. This is a great little catch to start the day. There's something playing with it. Got him. What is this? All right, so this is a smaller guy, but I believe it's the same species. Another sleeper of some sort, which I believe is a fat sleeper. So just got to try different spots, and sometimes you'll find fish that you've been looking for for a while. I've never really specifically targeted these fish. Um, but I, I know I've, I've fished a lot of spots where I thought I might have caught these in the past and I just haven't and then I show up here to this spot and This spot seems to have a uh, pretty good population of them. Let me let me push them up against the glass a little bit right there So you can see them better Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a sleeper for sure and then probably a fat sleeper as far as the species goes so pretty cool we got two fish and they're both a fish that I don't get to catch too often and literally only caught two of these in my life now. got one. Is this another fat sleeper? I think it is, and it's a fatter fat sleeper. 
All right, so this does appear to be another fat sleeper. It's a fatter fat sleeper, bigger fat sleeper, probably my PB fat sleeper. That's assuming, of course, this is a fat sleeper. I still got to confirm that later on. Uh, this guy swallowed the hook a little bit, so he's going to be tough to unhook. Let me press him up against the glass real quick here. Oh, he's a little feisty. But yeah, these are a really, really neat looking fish. Reminds me a lot of mud minnows. That's what I thought it was when I first hooked it. But it's not. Little, little tiny sleeper of some sort. So yeah, I guess this spot does have a nice population of them. Let's get the hook out of this one and let's keep fishing. Got him. Is this another fat sleeper? Uh, oh no, is it? I don't think so. I think this is a different type of goby. It's a small one. I don't think that's a sleeper. Hold on. All right, so after I got this guy in the photo tank, I'm pretty sure it's not a sleeper, but I'm also pretty sure that I'm disappointed because I believe it is a crested goby. Let me see if I could push him up here against the glass a little bit. You can see right on the forehead, it has a little bit of a crest there. And I believe crested gobies are the only goby species that have that. And I've caught crested gobies in the past. So unfortunately, let me clean that off a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this is a crested goby, which is not a new addition to the life list. Got another little guy. What is this thing? All right, so this little guy looks to be another uh, fat sleeper, just like the first several that we caught today. So four fat sleepers, I believe it is, and one crested goby. That is not a bad day at all so far. So let's keep going. Hopefully there are some other species here besides just these guys. But since we did catch a two different species, I think this is a pretty good spot, so we're going to keep fishing it. Did it get picked up? Yes, it did. Oh, this is something different, I think. What is it? All right, so if you watched the last video, this guy should be super familiar to you. This is a frill fin goby. So third species of fish for the day. Last time, not in this spot, but in the last spot I fished, I think we got nine of these in that one day, one session. So. It's not really a cool catch because these are probably the most common goby species in South Florida But a little diversity never hurts and this guy makes three different species for the day I had a fish on. I felt the bite, but then I didn't think I had one on. What is this? Another, I believe, what is a fat sleeper. Yeah, so normally after I catch several of the same species, I get pretty bored with them. But these guys look really cool. I've never caught them before until today. I think these would make such a cool little aquarium fish. If I, if I ever do set up that brackish water aquarium tank like I want to, at least now I know where to find these guys. Such a cool little fish. So let's go ahead and let's get this guy back. Let's keep going. If I catch these guys, I'm not going to be upset. But hopefully there's some other gobies down there that we can also catch. All 
All right, he bit. Let's see what this is. So in the water, it is really tough to tell what these guys are. They don't really have any sort of markings, that, well, at least that I can see in the water. So every time one of these comes up to check out the bait, I don't know it's one of these guys until I actually pull it out of the water. So a lot of times I've been hopeful with some other goby, but it's not. But anyway, like I said earlier, I am not too disappointed with catching a bunch of these guys because I've never caught one before. And anytime I get to catch kind of a unique species like this that I don't get to catch too often, that's great. So who knows when's the next time I'm going to be able to catch one of these. So a little bit more than half a dozen of these guys or whatever we caught is a pretty good day in my book. So we're going to release this guy. Let's go ahead and let's wrap it up. Alright guys, so that's going to do it. Ended up being a pretty good day. I came here with the intent of ca to catch a uh, new goby species. I did not think I would be catch a fat sleeper, and I'm pretty sure those are in the goby family. Still got to double check that. But we got a new goby species. And not only that, but we got a whole bunch of uh, fat sleepers. So I knew eventually I would catch one, just because a lot of the places I have fished in the past uh, were environments where they should kind of be found. So I knew I'd get one eventually. I did not think that would be today and I'm really surprised we got that many of them. So it just goes to show you, you gotta try new spots, gotta try new environments, new areas, and just because you don't catch one fish in one area doesn't mean it's not gonna be found in another very similar area, even if they're pretty close, uh, closely together distance-wise. The last spot I fished in the last video where I got all those frill fins, it is very close to this spot, probably less than a mile away on the same body of water, and all we got there were the uh, frill fin gobies. And over here, just a slight change, and we got a whole bunch of fat sleepers, one frill fin goby, and one crested goby. So three different goby species for the day. But I am very happy. One new addition to the life list is always better than none. Hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.